All right, so here's the basic route starting from the parking lot. We walk over towards the beach past the lifeguard tower, which is right here. That's when you'll look to your right to look at your lineups. You'll see the tip of Scripps Pier and you'll see this house over here with a lone tree. Just to the left of that house, there's a cluster of trees. And then to the right above the house, you'll see that lone tree. So you wanna line up those two points, tip of Scripps Pier and this lone tree. From where you're standing, you wanna turn around and look at the tall row of palm trees. Then turn a bit further, look across the grass, you'll see this brown house. Keep in mind the brown house and this white building. So this next image is gonna be from the beach. You're looking at the lifeguard tower on the left, four trees, that fourth tree, you wanna line it up against the edge of the white building. This is gonna be your other lineup. You're gonna enter the water here and make the long surface swim out, keeping those lineups in mind. When you get to the lineup point, you're gonna rest for a minute and then drop down and head west. You're gonna swim for about seven minutes uh, underwater along here until you get to about 80 feet. So you'll be gradually getting uh, deeper and deeper and you, you'll find that you're kind of in this, this big bowl area. At 80 feet, you'll turn right heading north up the hill to about 60 feet and you'll find the wall and then you're just gonna fly, follow the wall out. Somewhere around here, the wall disappears and that's the point you turn around and start heading back. But you need to decide for yourself when to turn around based on your air consumption. As you're turning around, you're heading northeast and this will sort of curve around. At that point, the wall is gonna disappear on you and that's when you wanna start heading east towards the shore. All right, let's take a look at the dive. We drop down here in about 25 feet of water. We've got our seven minute swim ahead of us. You'll notice it gets a bit darker as we go deeper here. So now here we're probably at about 80 feet and then we turn right heading north to go up to the wall. It's a pretty short wall, just a few feet when you hit it at first. It'll grow up to about 10-ish feet at some point. So there's nice little cubbies to look inside of, lots of fish, lobster. There's a resident eel in one of these little cubbies. A nice little horned shark here. And you'll notice on our way out, the wall's on our right hand side. If anybody knows what these fish are, then I'd love to hear it in the comments. All right, so we already turned around here. I didn't have video of that actually turnaround point, but the wall just kind of disappears on you. We'd been on the wall for about 10 minutes at that point, and now we're on our way back. Now 
there's the eel right there. The wall's about to disappear on us here, and we're about to start heading back. There it is, a nice sandy bottom, so we're heading directly east at this point. I think we we're doing about, we did about 15 minutes east. We surfaced, and when we surfaced, we had another seven minutes or so to swim back towards shore. Just in time for sunset. It was amazing.